and it only cost me a dollar. The color story in this palette is just for me. I swear they were like, yeah, you know who'd like that? That girl. I haven't seen that yet. I will link it up here or up here or down here. I'm not really sure. What's up beauties and welcome to today's video. If you've been here before, welcome back. And if you if it's your first time, welcome. My name is Manders, this is my channel. We talk about makeup, skincare, and I almost always drop something. So if you're interested in that, make sure you do give this video a thumbs up. You make sure you are subscribed to my channel and that you stick around and ring that notification bell. Today I'm going to be doing my go-to products for the month of March because it is the end of March, early April now when I'm filming this. So we're just going to get right into it. Now the month of March has been kind of an upheaval for me. I haven't been sticking with my schedule. I did go to Florida. I had to come back early and now we are in self-quarantine for 14 days. So we are on day 11 of quarantine so that means we can't go anywhere we have to have people drop off our groceries for us because we were out of the country so I haven't been doing my makeup as often as I normally would but I really wanted to sit down and film this and share with you guys what products I have reached for the most when I did want to do my makeup during this month so the first two items are skincare products these are new to me for the month of March and I have been just loving them since I got them so far so this is the daily moisturizer from fourth ray beauty I don't know what has happened to the labels. I don't know what it is, what I've touched these with, but the labels came off of this one as well as the eye cream. However, these were so affordable. This was, I think, $15 US. This was $20. I really like this. I've been using these constantly this month, and I'm not really... This one I put a pretty good dent in, but like the eye cream, a little bit goes a long way and it's a decent size. So I really needed a new eye cream. I really needed a new moisturizer. So I was super excited to grab these ones and I am very, very happy with them so far. Another product, two other products from 4th Ray Beauty. There is a little bit more skincare in here that normally there, than there normally would be, but I have two serums. The first one is the Rainfall 2% Hyaluronic Acid Serum. And the second is the Reveal. This is the 10% Alpha Hydroxy Acid Serum. This is the nighttime serum. I've used this one the most. I've been using this almost every night and I really do like the way that it makes my skin look and feel. And I've been using this one off and on since I got it, not consistently, but it is the favorite. I was able to pick up the four pack of their serums. These two are the ones that are my favorite out of that pack. So I have been reaching for these more and more. Now this is a newer product to me, but I, I wanted to toss it in here anyways because I do really like it. It's by Mario Badus Badescu. This is skin their skincare facial spray with aloe, cucumber, and green tea. I have been using this constantly, even just as a refresher throughout my day. It feels so nice. I really am loving facial sprays. Picked that up while I was in Florida on my Ulta haul. If you haven't seen that yet, I will link it up here or up here or down here. I'm not really sure but I do really, really like that. Um, another skincare item is the Sol de Janeiro. This is the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. I picked this up when I went to Sephora right before I went to Florida, and I really do like it. I love it so much. Oh my gosh, my skin feels, smells, and feels so good when I use this. I wish it wasn't so expensive because I need to buy a replacement soon, like we're getting down there. I am going to just suck it up and pay the full price for the full size when I do run out of this one because I love it so, so much. I'm going to talk about my Pixi Glow Tonic. I have gone through at least three of these in the last two months. These are just the small size ones. I'm going to pick up a full size as soon as I use these ones. I love this stuff. It's the exfoliating toner from Pixi. They have a rose toner that I really like as well. I really like the vitamin C one, but this one is my favorite so far. So I am super excited to share that with you guys. I love these. If you haven't already tried them out and you are look and you were thinking about it, I personally would suggest try it. I was lucky enough to get a couple of these little trial size ones right after Christmas when they had like their their sales on where they had the three pack three different toners for $14 or something like that I was able to grab a couple of these love them going to get a full size no matter what this is a newer product to me I picked this up right before I went to Florida but I've used it enough times that I will say it is a new favorite of mine this is the elf poreless putty primer I really like this a little bit goes a long way like I've used that about six or probably five to six times and 
not very much has been taken out. So I'd really like to try the Tatcha one, but I can't justify the price point. So this one I have heard is an excellent dupe. I am happy with this. It cost me $10. I'm not going to buy anything more expensive because if I can get it to work for $10, then that's a friggin' win for me. The powder I have used the most is my AOA Studio Perfect Setting Powder. This is the brightening powder. I've used this quite a few times this month and I'm very happy with it. It comes like this, has a nice little sifter, and it only cost me a dollar. So if you haven't checked out Shop Masse, please do because they're awesome. I like I need to do a Shop Masse haul, but I can't justify really buying anything right now. But when I need powders, brushes or sponges I always 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 order from Shop Masse because it's a win everything's a dollar it's perfect. Butter bronzer made the list again this month that would mostly be because it's really the only one I used. I because I went to Florida I didn't pack a lot of things with me but I definitely have been I've been reaching for this more and more this month so love my butter bronzer I need to replace that I almost replaced it with a mini while I was in Florida but I didn't Kind of regret that now. This blush I have reached for so many times this month. I love it so much. This is by Lancome. This is their Sheer Amorose. I don't even know if they make this anymore. I just really like this blush. I like the way it sits on my skin. It comes with a little mirror. It's been a win for me and I'm going to continue to use it. So excellent. Next up, we do have another item from Shop Masse. This is their AOA Studio Perfect Pressed Highlighter in the shade Tiara. Now, I really have to say something about this. I'm not wearing it today, but this highlight for a dollar, a dollar, is amazing. I love it so much. I love how it sits on my skin. It has a nice formula. I would almost say it's like a dupe for the e.l.f. highlighters. Swatches on my hand. What else is new? I barely even touched my hand when I did that. That is like such a pretty swatch. I do. I really like this highlighter. Let's just tap that up there. It's really pretty, very affordable. Look at the size of it. Like it's a decent amount of product for what you're paying, in my opinion. And it works well. I did pull out two eyeshadow palettes, and that is because these are new to me in my collection, and I really do like them. Actually, I pulled out three. The first one's been in my collection for a while, so we'll talk about that one. This is the Lip Glam P.S. I Love You palette. I forgot how much I love this. These their matte shades. These four matte shades make it worth it for me to keep this palette. I love this palette, especially this one. This shade right here looks like it's going to be nude and there's not going to be any color payoff. The color payoff on that color alone is redonkulous. So I do really, really like this palette. Um, it is just one of my, one of those hidden gems that I have in my collection that I haven't used a lot. So get ready. Hopefully you'll be able to see some more of this one because I have been enjoying it thoroughly. And next up, this is a new palette of mine. This is by BH Cosmetics. This is the Smitten in Switzerland. Pick this up in Florida. I really, I haven't played around with it that much yet, but what I have played around with, I'm very happy with. So I wanted to make sure I mentioned it. I have reached for it a few times this month. Like I said, this month was a little different for me. I expected to continue using my products the way I had been prior to going to Florida, but then, you know, shit hit the fan and things change and that's okay. So we're making do and we are just going with it and we're just getting through what we can. This is by Makeup Revolution London. I love this palette. This is the chilled palette with cannabis sativa oil infused right into it. The color store, oh my gosh, I can't believe I did that. I like totally like messed up that eyeshadow. The color story in this palette is just for me. I swear they were like, yeah, you know who'd like that? That girl. They're just, I look at these colors and I'm like, yeah. I want to put these all over my eyeballs right now. I've used this palette a few times since I got it. I haven't filmed every, I haven't even filmed myself using it really, but for the most part, I do enjoy it. The matte shades are great. The shimmer shades are awesome. I haven't had any complaints. I probably will not reach for the pressed glitters because I don't ever use pressed glitter. But other than that, this palette is a serious win. I like the packaging. It comes with a mirror. It is amazing for me. So those are my top items for March. Please let me know in the comments below. Do you like any of these items? Do you hate any of these items? And how are you doing? Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I absolutely love spending my time with you and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. See you guys soon. Bye.